Tomorrow will be of his students. Um, we are going to be meeting with uh, three of our students um, who went to Boys and Girls State last year. Um, they'll be talking about a little bit about their experiences. Um, I went to Boys and Girls State in 1989, and I'm much older than everybody else here. Um, so I'm just going to ask some questions and answers, and um, so you're aware a little bit about what happens. Um, so I'm just going to start with you guys can go down the line. Um, can you tell me a little bit about kind of how everything worked? I know the idea is that you create a town um, and you run for office, so maybe you can just talk about your experiences around that. So the first day that I came in, um, everyone went out to the courtyard and we met with, there was three tables and we each got assigned a town and within that town we'd have meetings and we were assigned positions, and um, we were working to solve a town issue. Every, every town had the same issues, and um, what we were all working for was to see who, which town did the best to solve all of the issues, was the most creative in figuring out how to solve all the issues, and um, by the end of the week, they would um, say which town was model town because you would get uh, points for doing certain things like getting a grant for certain, for like the construction of a road or something like that. Um, and later in the week, we um, divvied ourselves up or we actually got all together and then divvied ourselves up into a uh, Senate and House of Representatives and executive branch. People would run for positions and we did a larger government scale and worked on writing and passing bills together. And throughout the week, um, Boy State did this, Girl State didn't, but uh, we would play sports and um, that also would count towards um, the points that you would get towards the end, and yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> can you, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, so Girls State was a little bit different. Ours was on Zoom this year, it was all virtual. Can you want to listen? Yeah. <laughs> it was all virtual, Girls State. Um, it was a little bit different. So we were split into towns just like Boys State was, but it was less about the model town. We yeah. didn't um, focus on the point earning much. We did have a model town at the end of the week, um, but it was less about that. We started in our towns and had uh, local elections. So there's about six people per town. Um, I was elected into the position of town clerk. Uh, Kaya can tell you what she was elected into after. And then we were split into um, political parties. So there's two parties, um, just like in the American government. Um, well, there's more parties, but the two most popular parties, of course. Um, so when we were split into our parties, we also had elections for party chair, party vice chair, and party secretary, who kind of uh, set the party platforms and made the rules for the party. So I was elected as the vice chair of my political party, um, also very exciting. And then we all reconvened. We had our um, primary elections in the party for different state offices, like governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, auditor, um, there's six positions. So I ran for lieutenant governor in my primary. I won the primary in my political party, and then I went on to win the election in the whole gross state program. So that was very exciting. At the end of the week, they announced awards, like Marshall said, and um, well, there's a model town just like Boys State, yep. but it's a little bit different. Um, does this work now? Ooh, it works. Um, yeah, uh, so I was the governor of Girl State, which is like the big position that's really competitive. Um, and Lindsay's was obviously like second to that. And then she went to Girls Nation, which is a whole other thing and was like super exciting for her. Um, I was our town's, like essentially our mayor. And then we had counties as well. And I was our county's um, like vice chair. And I was my uh, political party's chair. Um, I initially wasn't gonna like run for things and do things bigly, but I was like, why not, you know? Um, because it was, it was exciting, it's immersive, and it was, uh, over Zoom it was a lot, but like once you get there, it's really exciting. 
and there's not like a lot to add, but it was just it was an exciting program. Yeah, I did forget to mention we also um, while we were doing the big elections for governor and lieutenant governor, um, I know that everyone else who wasn't running in a big election and wasn't going up for big offices like Kaya and I, um, they were forming a House of Representatives like the Boys State, and they were voting on bills and um, running it just like the Vermont House of Representatives. So also another uh, slightly different immersive experience. Um, I think the most memorable thing uh, at Boys State was just getting to know everyone. Once you get there, it's really nerve-wracking and you feel really alone <laughs> because you don't really know anyone, especially me because I think we only had one other student go this year um, and he wasn't a part of my town. But once you get throughout the week, you make a lot of friends and it's yeah that's I think that's the best part about it is just getting to know all these different people from all across Vermont and they can be some of your best friends um, the people who are running it they were saying that some of the best friends that they have to this day are from Boy State so yeah no I totally agree being over zoom it was pretty hard but we did like follow each other on social media and everything, but we got pretty close. Um, I'd say when I went to Girls Nation, which was an in-person experience for me, that was definitely um, the most memorable part of it, was meeting all my friends and everything, and we're super close to this day. Um, just getting to know the people, but also um, the opportunities that the program presents to you is amazing. Like, you might not think about it at first, it's just a one-week government program, but it really opened up a lot of opportunities for me, and I know it did for Kaya, too. Yeah. I um, have met with the lieutenant governor plenty of times. I was offered an internship opportunity at the lieutenant governor's office um, that I have yet to pursue. <laughs> and of course, I was also sent to Girls Nation, which is uh, the national program um, of the same caliber. Yeah, yeah, I would say meeting people and like getting to know. We also have, um, there's counselors, so like kids who are in college and older than us. And uh, it was really good getting to know them and getting to know our peers. Um, and for me, a big uh, experience which these guys don't have is being governor, I had to write a lot of speeches and deliver a lot of speeches. And I got to work with um, past governors and some of the more like uh, officials there. Uh, and they just taught me a lot about speech writing and being present on stage, well, a virtual stage. And um, just understanding how to be like, okay, I have three hours, I have to write this speech, I have to deliver it well, how am I gonna make this work? Um, and that was really memorable and important. And I also got uh, an internship opportunity at the governor's uh, office. Uh, one of the things that, that happens is you'll get this email. You get this random email that comes in saying, you've been nominated for the, the Girls State Life Action Society. And so, okay, I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> so one of the things that happens is you guys will get an email from me you did last year <coughs> and students will get an email that from me this year saying hey you've been nominated by the faculty for boys or girls state and a lot of times i think and you guys have said this you have no idea what, what what this is right and so if you were a student who was nominated this year you get the email and they're like what is this what would you tell them um and there's there i'm not sure if i want to do this i don't know what it is so what would you guys tell them um do it, first of all. Um, but just, I, I guess, it's about government and it's about getting to know people. Um, it's, there's not a lot of reason why you shouldn't do it. It's really good on your college applications, too. Um, I, yeah, I had a great time, so I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. No, yeah, I definitely say do it. Even if you think you might hate it, if you think you might hate government and working with politics. I know I wasn't crazy about politics before uh, Girl State. Now I, I like it, but um, before I got the email and I was kind of like, I have no idea what this is, but I decided to do it. And I think that's the best thing you can do. You never know what it's gonna do for you. Like I said before, um, we have incredible opportunities now since the program and we can thank um, the program for that. Um, and like Marshall said, it is all about the connections. You know, it is about the government, and you're going in for a government program, but what you're going to remember is the people who are there and the friends that you make while you're there. And I think that's the biggest thing. 
Yeah, I would say absolutely do it. I didn't know, I had no idea what it was. I was like, mom, I got this letter and I have like no idea what this is. Do I like even do this? And it was really awesome and a great experience. And even if you aren't into politics, uh, I always have been and always uh, was. And so I was like, wow, this is you know a great opportunity. Um, this is gonna be interesting. So if you are into politics, you'll, you'll absolutely love it. And even if you're not, like I know Marshall and Lindsay both weren't like super active, um, you'll still enjoy it and you'll make lots of friends and you'll learn a bit about policy and just like how do we make our laws, what's the system, um, and it was just, it's a wonderful experience. So at the end of the summer, what are some skills and some knowledge that you took with you after this experience? Um, I think one thing would be um, writing speeches and, and delivering speeches. Be prepared <laughs> when you're delivering a speech because it doesn't sound good when you're um, just up here willy-nilly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like we're doing right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I just take chances um, and seize all of the opportunities that are in front of you. Yeah, no, that's definitely what I was gonna say. You gotta take every chance, because I went into it, like I said, and I was kinda like, I didn't really know what it was, and I was kind of into politics, but it wasn't my number one passion. Um, but I had this great opportunity in front of me, and I was like, you know what, I might as well make the most of it. And at the end, um, I realized that like, I can do anything that I want to do. You know, I was elected into the lieutenant governor, I got into Girls Nation. I had all these wonderful opportunities in front of me and my self-confidence just grew, honestly. And at the end of the summer, um, after both programs that I went through, I uh, came into school and I ran for president of National Honor Society and president of student council, um, which I'm president of both now here at BFA. Uh, but it definitely helped me grow my self-confidence and I feel like I'm just a more well-rounded person and I'm not afraid to stand up here and talk about my experience in front of you guys so, like I would be shaking before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I learned like, as I said, so many speech writing skills and about how to talk like this on the fly. Lindsay and I have had to do this um, once or twice together where the American Legion Auxiliary is like, hey, will you come give a speech? And we're like, yeah, okay, let's just go like say something to these, these guys um, and it goes well. Uh, and before Girls uh, State, that was not a skill that I had. I would have been so nervous to give a speech in front of random people about something that, you know, we haven't done since summer. Um, and so it was just like, it's formative, uh, even though it's a week long. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it was, but it's, it's such an immersive experience. It, it, it has a hold on you. So I know that this past year, um, <coughs> Boys State was in person and Girls State was virtual because of the pandemic. Um, but uh, what was it like living or working with other students from across the state? So our situation was a little bit different than the actual normal. Normally you're, you have a roommate um, and each, each person has a roommate. Um, this year you just had your room to yourself so that wasn't as tight knit as they wanted it to be. But. Um, the connections that we made were just amazing. I mean, through not even the, like even outside of the government policy making and passing stuff, that's pretty much where you make your friends is at lunch. You sit down with random people and you just have a conversation. And yeah, it's, it's a great experience. Yeah, I would definitely say connection as well. Even though it was virtual, we did get to meet a lot of the people, you know, online. Um, and we followed their social media and everything. Um, but, <coughs> here, you take it real quick. Okay, um, no, she's thinking about it. Um, oh my God, I've just forgotten the question. What was that? So, the question was, um, what was it like meeting you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, I remember that. Yeah, so, it was, a lot of us, especially virtual, have different experiences at home. Like I know some girls were like, my internet does not work, I can't talk, I can't be as involved as I wanna be. Um, and lots of girls have different experiences with the pandemic and their schools. Um, and so that was a little, it was, it was kind of interesting. Our school sent more people than it normally would because our numbers were so low. 
and um, just working and getting to know other girls from across the state who had different experiences was really uh, enriching. It's like, okay, this is what you know happened to you, and we're both here, and we both have like maybe we're both ac academically really, you know, passionate. Uh, but you, there, I know there's one girl who uh, really liked horses, and you know that was her that was her thing. Um, and especially because we were virtual, it was harder. But uh, I know our town had a great relationship, and we would get in our little like town breakout room, and it, it was fun, and we enjoyed each other's company, and it was like a, a nice, safe space. Um, and I think the same is true for any of our other breakout rooms. Uh, and I know in addition to you know working with girls across the state, we had so many uh, BFA girls go, and we had a little uh, like girls' state party at Lindsay's house, and we all zoomed in from her house, and then uh, like had a sleepover to make it feel more you know, together. Yeah. Uh, so I remembered what I was going to say. Um, more on the politics aspect of the program, uh, Vermont has mm, not a very diverse political climate, so um, a lot of our opinions were the same. So um, I know our two party platforms ended up being pretty similar. Um, so you just kind of get to have some nice political conversations with girls across the state who might see the same views as you, but that's just how it is. Um, and also, I think what's really interesting is you're not, you, here at BFA, you're not often put up against the best of the best. And at Girls State, you're going to be put up against the best of the best in the state. And you get to see um, what kind of students are out there for you to connect with. And um, just kind of work with people who are more on your academic level or who feel more like, or who feel like more like uh, your kind of peer, if, you, if that makes any sense. Yeah, to add to that, I would feel like running for governor, I had like such bad like imposter syndrome, which is like, I'm not good enough to be here, that I don't deserve this more than like Lindsay, who works harder than me, I would say. <laughs> um, but, and you just, you're out with all these other girls and they are so, you know, they try so hard. And I'm sure it's like that at Boys State too. Um, and it's just a really great experience to be like, oh, we're all on the National Honor Society. Oh, we all have like, 10 after school activities that we do. And so it's a shared stress almost, uh, which is nice. Yeah, I just, I just wanna say that it's extremely humbling seeing everyone. <laughs> um, there are certain kids who, there, were, there was one kid in particular who literally ran a campaign for like a year and a half. And I was like, that, <laughs> I would have never done that. <laughs> that just seemed insane to me. but. Um, yeah, it's, it's really humbling to seeing everyone who's achieved so much and in, in the diversity of the kids who come there, because there are certain kids, there was a really nice kid there who, like, th there's just, it's, it's a wide range of people and there are certain kids there that I, like, loved. <laughs> uh, who I, I don't even think I, I might not have even been friends with in high school, um, but they were just great people. And um, one other thing I just wanna leave is just, just don't judge people by, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Like there are a lot of different people out there and I'm sure they all mean great and they're good people. <laughs> so last question guys, thanks so much for your time. Um, <clears throat> did the experience change how you look at local, state, and national government? So at Boys State, we had um, three political parties because in Vermont we have three political parties. We have, um, oh, I can't remember the name of them, but we changed the name so that it wasn't as political. Um, but it, it teaches you a lot about how um, it actually functions because when you get in there with all these different people and they all have different ideas of how the government should run, um, you really understand the difficulties with government and um, that it's not just as simple as saying there's this one solution. There's a lot that you have to do. Yeah, so I definitely learned a lot more about each level of government. Um, I didn't know how the state government uh, ran. I mean, I'm, of course I knew how it ran, but I didn't know it like in depth as I did when we went to Girl State. Um, so after Kaya and I were elected into office, I mentioned before that the rest of the group was um, kind of forming a House of Representatives and voting on bills. 
And after my work for lieutenant governor was done, I got to go in there and kind of watch how the process ran. So I kind of got both sides of that. I got to see the lieutenant governor aspect, but I also got to um, kind of view how the House of Representatives actually worked. And it was very immersive. You know, they, they um, make it just like the real thing. So you really learn a lot. And um, a couple months after our program ended, COVID kind of loosened up a little bit and they organized a um, state house tour for us. Uh, only three of us went. But Kaya and I were two of those people, and it was also very immersive. We got to go, we got to look at the Senate and the House of Representatives and uh, the Lieutenant Governor's office, among many other places in, in the State House. And they just kind of talked us through how everything worked, and it was just very interesting to see that firsthand. Um, as far as national government, that was um, honestly a lot more immersive for me when I went to uh, Girls Nation, which is just the national program for. Um, girl state, it's where all the girl states from across the country send two uh, delegates from each state to Washington, D.C. Um, so I got a free trip to D.C., <laughs> but it was very fun. Uh, and they all kind of meet together, and because it's two from each state, it's just like the U.S. Senate. So they make it um, a Girls' Nation Senate. And every um, pair of girls submits a bill uh, that goes to the Senate floor, and then you kind of submit debate on the bills, and um, just it's, a, it's the exact well, almost the exact process that the U.S. Senate goes through. So definitely very immersive as well. Uh, yeah, I did not get to see a lot of the way that the, the House and the Senate worked because I was doing governor things. Um, but it was really immersive to see, like, we're in our towns and, you know, how does, because town elections work differently than state level or uh, national level. And so that was pretty interesting. I had a, a really good hold on it already because, as I said, I, I'm politically immersive and I pay a lot of attention to it. But it definitely, you know, taught me a lot. And then visiting the Capitol, um, we got to see the Senate and the House and, you know, talk to the, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The um, Senator Pro Tem? Yes. Yeah and um, the, the leader of the House of Representatives, and that was, they were like, this is how we call on people, this is why, how the seats work, this is how we pass a bill, you know, this is how we work with the Lieutenant Governor and the Governor, and that was just stuff about our state government that I never knew.